Good afternoon, dear students. Today we are going to continue our lesson concerning the writing. And so let me uh, switch my slides to the full screen. Okay, this full size. Now let's start. Okay. Right. Today we are going to talk about the types of writing assignments. I'm Yufa Udinaiva. I'm the teacher of Bukhara State University and the Faculty of Foreign Languages. So let's start. Today we are going to talk about the types of writing assignments, which are as follows. Essays, reports, case studies, abstracts, and the last one is annotated bibliography. So what is essay itself? What is the meaning of essay? And um, what kind of structure does it have? An essay is a piece of writing on a specific subject, topic, or issue. Essays are made of the following structure. I've included here the introduction part, which is the start point. Introduction should tell us about what and how we are going to talk about our topic. And the second part is what we are going to show in our essay. It is our thesis. An introductory part. We have to include these all uh, meaning of our essay, part of this essay. The second one is body. In body part, you should discuss your main points. It means you should introduce your points. And after what you should just uh, you should step to explaining explanation of this point giving supporting evidence about your point and how also how it relates to your thesis. The third part and the last part of essay is conclusion. And how do we conclude our essay? We should restate our introduction here, the subject, the main point and the thesis. It means we should paraphrase, paraphrase the introductory part in conclusion. But at the end, you, we, we should give the main points and also the thesis. Now we are going to step to reports. Uh, reports generally involve presenting our investigation, analysis of information or an issue, recommending actions and making proposals. So we have got the following types of reports. We have got business report. And business report, it provides information that someone needs to help them make decisions. The second part, type of report, we have the scientific and research reports. They provide information on something that was done, such as some research. Their purpose is to describe, analyze, evaluate what was learned. It means you should describe the event, afterward you should step to analysis, and at the end it should be finished with evaluation about what you learned. When writing a report, always you should always keep the reader in mind. You want them to agree with your report or disagree on it. Or also act upon it. A report should be very clear, should be very concise, must be very easy to understand, also must be correct. It means the report should have very strict structure, very serious structure, and you should follow the content and grammar following the rules. It means that you should pay attention to every single step of your writing, the piece of writing. 
it means the correct and content should be correct. Also, you should have a clear recognizable structure or format. It means that the reader, the person who is going to read this report, should understand what you are going, you, what you have written about. It means the piece of writing. The report must be clear or understandable. It must be easy to understand. And also it must be livable. You shouldn't copy and paste everything, whatever you are going to write or include into your report. The main thing, you should give your own opinion and you should make the reader believe your statement. Depending on the type of report, the structure can include the title page, executive summary, contents, introduction, terms of references, procedure, procedure, talk findings, conclusions, recommendations, references, or we call it by bibliography, or and the last one is appendices. So and here I've prepared some questions to be to answer. Today, how many types of writing assignments we have learned? You should count them. And let's go back before I, I uh, as soon as I finish, we'll just have some revision. Here I've included the main uh, parts of our, of my slides. And I gave you the information about essay and also report. The first of all, you should have to know how to differentiate essay and report. Because essay, it's most of the time, it is a free writing. It is part of free writing, as we told you during our previous lesson. It is part of a free writing. But the report, it should concern the strict, it follows the strict uh, rules and the strict stru structure. As I, to, as I reminded you and also taught you in the previous slides, here you should follow all grammar rules, all the content, all the um, sentences and the content must be understandable and very easy to read. And also it must uh, consider the reader with, uh, which you should uh, make him believe your statement. And afterwards, here, the last one, and the last task will be, you should write an essay and also the report following the structure you learned from my video lesson today. And just you should, um, when you send all these tasks, all your home tasks, you should prove also why do you think it is essay and why is this report? And the evidence of the structure, evidence of your grammar, evidence of the content you have used in your essays and also in your reports. Don't forget to find the correct topic and also follow the topic and also to follow the uh, rules, strategies while writing the essay also the report and don't forget to write your name in your piece of writing because i'm going to check them step by step thank you for your attention there was nilfar odinaeva and the topic was concerning our writing assignment thank you bye